The other algebraic-like property of the category of commutative rings is that it's a locally finitely presentable category. We will write LFP to denote that it's locally finitely presentable. Recall that a finitely presentable object in a category is an object X, um, if and only if for all filtered diagrams to the category C, the canonical morphism from the co-limit of that HOM set from X to DI is isomorphic to the morphisms from X to the co-limit in C. So in other words, this is basically saying that given any morphism F from X to the co-limit of, of DI, there exists this factorization through one of these DIs. And you can think of this as X as being finitely generated, that there's these finite generators that get exhausted in one of these DIs. And moreover, all the relations between the morphisms that are existing in the diagram have also finite relations. So in the category of commutative rings, each finitely presentable object is isomorphic to some quotient ring of the polynomial ring over the integers with finite number of variables. This is because the polynomial ring is the free structure in the category of commutative rings. And so let's just recall that a locally finitely presentable category is a co-complete category with an essentially small set of finitely presentable objects which generate each object under canonical filtered colimits. And what we mean by a canonical filtered colimit, suppose that we have this ring A, there's this diagram given by the slice category of the subcategory of commutative rings given by the finitely presentable objects to the ring A, and then just forgetting the structural morphisms from those objects to A. And if you take the co-limit of this, you'll, you'll regain those structural morphisms to A. And moreover, it's easy to verify that this category is essentially small and filtered.